Hello my friends and welcome back to our continuing blind let's play the casting of Frank Stone in the world of Dead by Daylight. My name is the Flightless Bar, this is your Soviet Gaming Channel, and today Today we dive back into the cutting room floor on a Ruthless Failure Run because we did not successfully complete the Ruthless Failure Run. Run? One? Run? Yes, the run. We did not fully complete it because Sam survived. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump here to Chapter 8. And this suggestion comes from our wonderful friend Arthas the Lich King. Who basically says, go to Chapter 8 and do, do two things. One, keep Maddie alive in that scene because obviously she can die in the same way twice. And also look around the projector real room with Linda Moore. Because apparently the baby dying has an interesting consequence there. Then you should play till chapter 10 and get that cursed death that we were talking about. When she goes back and they teleport and Mac functions and then you could try killing everyone in a different way or try to get that weasel Sam this time. So yes, that is what we are going to try to do. We're going to keep Maddie alive. Uh, we're going to search the archive. And we, oh, we're going to search the archive here. Uh, so, yeah, not not too much that we would have to replay. So let's jump into it, shall we? I hope everyone's having a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day today as we go ahead and flip this switch and we succeed on the square this time. I really think you have to purposely want to fail that square. Because that's not a hard one to pass. But then again, mashing buttons is really hard for me, so... I can see how you could do it on the harder difficulties, but if you're not on the hard difficulty... I'd imagine that one's pretty hard to fail. And yet there's probably someone watching who's like, Flightless! I failed that one easily! What are you talking about? I'm like, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Please forgive me. Meanwhile, in Cedar Hills. Is it this, like, isn't this just a scene with Robert and Sam? Or Robert and the, um, the shopkeeper? Like, I don't think you could do anything to make this scene different. Are you alright? Uh, is there something you can do What's to make wrong, this scene different? Man? I don't uh, think there is. Nothing. I, uh... Let me help you. Uh, I'm fine. It's nothing. But you look as if something... I'm just looking for my dad. Uh, the sheriff? The sheriff? Yeah. Have you seen him? Oh, wow. Well, uh, yes. Uh, where? Uh, here and there, now and then. He does have a way of showing up in the strangest of places. Wait, how long ago was he here? Just just now, or what? Uh, it was more than a minute. Less than a lie, tell him. <laughs> sure. Okay, thanks. The pleasure was all mine. I'll be sure to tell him you're looking for him. Yeah, like, is there a way to change that scene? Mystery Manor continued. Pretty sure they came down this way. I uh, wouldn't be sure of anything in this place. How did she get you here, Linda? What did she offer you? Uh, dreading somber. I, I think I did many last time. Let's try somber here. She promised me freedom. <laughs> freedom? Freedom! Every single day since we made that movie has been torture. The dreams. Uh, I don't get a lot of sleep. I used to channel it into my films. Like a badge of honor. But 30 years of this. I'm sure it was no different for, uh, for Robert with his piece. And 
Augustine said if you give her your film strip. I can't destroy it. Augustine's my way out. And she wants the other two pieces as well. Stans and the other girls. Her name's Maddie. She's Bonnie's daughter. Bonnie's... What? Hard to believe. I know. Till you take a good look at her. Spitting image. I wish I would have stayed in touch with Bonnie. And now it's too late. Too late. Bonnie just recently passed. That's how Maddie inherited her piece of the film. And yeah, Bonnie is a guaranteed uh, death in this game. That's, that's too bad. What did you mean when you said all of this is because of Cedar Hills? I said it's because of what? <gasps> what is it? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I Find them all and gotta find them before. It's, it's okay, this is this is hard because I actually have to pass and, uh, this uh, check because I want to see what happens if he doesn't have the book at the end. Pouch or diary? Which one is it? It's the diary. The so pouch is the gun. Oh, I passed it. I don't know if it matters if. It's the in the white or not. Okay, she gives it back to him regardless. And I missed it. I missed it. Oh, I didn't know there was going to be a second one. Do I rewind? It? Yeah, I think I rewind it here because I want to see uh, what that other thing was. Uh, so give me a second. I will return. I will return. Find them all in. And we are back. And apparently me loading the game broke her glasses again. Yep, our glasses are broke. We're going to try this again, though. Diary. Looks like his diary is broke, too. Okay, so the thing that's dropped on before is not the book. He has the book no matter what. What is this? Don't fail at this time, flightless. No idea what I just picked up. Take it easy. Go there. Sam. You don't seem okay. We gotta find Augustine. Now. I think you should take a minute. I'll be fine. Now, are you gonna help me find Augustine, or are you just gonna get in my way? Uh, ooh. Yeah, ooh, ooh. Absolutely. Us with our broken glasses. Saw it anyway. I looked at your journal. What? The things you wrote. You're not well. You need help. I need your help. Right now. I I'll help you, okay? But you gotta promise me you'll see someone when this is over. Sure. Promise me. I promise. Sam is upset. He has the allergy. Oh, that's a great one. Sam? I wonder what I do in my redemption run. Sam. Do I uh, take the gun? Sam? Or do I look at the note? Hello? Hey, where the hell did you go? Sam, come on. Sheriff. And apparently I need to look around this room more. My broken glass. And what's up with my feet? What's up with your shoes? Like your shoes are... They don't match. Looks like you got one in a boot or something. Aired. Okay, so we need to look around here a bit more. Which is normally not something we do, but... It's this fine. Is certainly something. Anything for more divergence. Divergence is key. Murder mine. Complete all murder mill artifacts.
There's that other arm. Actually, I'll pop slightly different, right? That was the opposite arm. Theater carnage blamed on sick flick. A, a screening of the film Murder Mill? Wait, this screening never happened. What is this? Okay, you can uh, pause it here if you want to read that. I'll probably read that in my redemption run. Because... My redemption run will probably look for everything. Just when I thought things couldn't get weirder. That's cool. Pretty sure I found that before. So what is different? What is different? Is it the shirt? Oh, the search for Mr. Child ends. Okay, this one we will read. Cedar Hills this morning woken up at what is proved the most dark, darkest night in its history. At around 10 p.m. during the routine inquiries at the Cedar Mill as part of... Suspect Frank Stone killed during violent showdown in the Cedar Hills Mill. But not before. The no. miss... The not missing... before Frank Stone tragically took the life of his final victim. Identified as Jaime Rivera. Only an infant. This must be a misprint. Wait, what? The baby is Jaime? I mean, there were some people who theorized about that, but we actually have confirmation. The baby is Jaime. The missing person investigation that has so ripped our tight-knit community, police officer Sam Green engaged a 36-year-old suspect named Frank Stone, shooting him dead, but not before Frank Stone tragically took the life of his final victim identified as Jaime Rivera, only infant. Green 21 is understood to have sustained serious injury in the attempt to arrest Stone 36. Speaking to reporters at the mill in the very early hours of the morning, Sheriff Lloyd Krusich confirmed that the officer was taken to Western Falls Hospital where he was in stable condition. You know what that means? Now, this is very much a possibility. Our <laughs> broken glasses are so weird. Uh, so, the 1963 Sam is not the 1980s Sam. Because the 1963 Sam has a possibility to have Jaime die. If Jaime is alive in 1980, that means these two universes are different. Now, the 2024 Sam could be the 1963 Sam. However, it could also be a totally different Sam from 1963. So, the only thing that we know for sure is that the 1963 Sam is not the 1980 Sam. That's the only thing I think we can be completely sure of. But I think, I think the 2024 Sam is the 1963 Sam. Just based on his injuries carrying over. But that doesn't have to be a, a, a definite. That could be different. But hey, we finally know the actual identity of the baby now. Thank you, Arthas. Appreciate that, my friend. That is a really big clue. A super big clue to find. Bonnie didn't act in this scene. It was Chris. This is why I love doing these replays. This isn't right. <sighs> okay, that is not what we shot. I'll let movie see. I wish I could see the cutting room floor as I play the game now. Not to jump around, but just to... J just to um, know the choices I've done. Oh, 
I thought Sam normally shows up here. Oh yeah, he does. Not after we look through the tapes, right. Relax. What are you doing? Augustine and Sam are allied with rival factions. To do with you. Probing. Ooh. I like this. I like the he other answer too, but... Linda. Don't you fucking lie to me. But when I stopped Frank Stone in the still mill, back in 1963, I thought that'd be the end of it. But ever since, not a thing in my world has made sense. In any other, either. Everything, all of this, leads back to that night. And sure, I stopped him. But in the process, I caught a glimpse of the bigger picture. The stone was just a piece of something much worse. I couldn't shake the feeling that all I had done was delay the inevitable. That I was just one insignificant reflection of what actually happened. And it started to drive me crazy. Eventually, that led me to Logan Chen and the Imperiati. And they helped me to understand what I'd seen and what I could do about it. What I'd have to leave behind. You do know that you sound like a raving fucking lunatic, don't you? <laughs> I take no pleasure in any of this. There's no reward for me when I've done what I've got to do. There's no gratitude, no gold watch. It's just sort of a higher calling. God, you're so full of it. I'm not a kid anymore. And you're not the sheriff. You don't get to play high and mighty with me. Linda. No, you won't be straight with me, fine. But I'm not an idiot. I know how misdirection works. I can see what you're trying to hide. Did you think I wouldn't notice the second you walked in here? You should be at least 80 years old, but you're barely older than me. How does that make any sense? In fact, none of the dates in your fucked up journal line up. I'd say it's pure lunacy, except... Here you are. The wrong age. And I found a newspaper, a real one. One that says you failed to save Frank Stone's final victim. An oh. infant. On the night you caught him. Imagine my surprise to read the victim's name. My own best friend. Who I grew up with. I may Rivera. So what are you implying? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I'm saying you might be Sam Green. But you're not the Sam Green I knew in Cedar Hills. You're someone else. Aren't you? So finding that item really is changing the story of it because she's like For wait i mean to die taken, there exists doesn't make any sense how can i mean die by a shadow self another reality another world worlds so close they bleed together do you see the timelines i chose were special the bleed strong the entity straining against the edges of our world. I didn't need Frank Stone's mortal vessel after all. I only needed the most perfect versions of his essence. Trapped on celluloid, projected at 24 frames a second. Frank Stone will be reborn.
I love this game. I, I love all of Super Master games because of this. Because of the way that it just find like one piece of evidence and changes something. This is why the Ruthless Failure run the first time I didn't find any evidence because of this. Because there's a possibility this might happen. Sorry, you were already impaled. There's not much I can do about that. Uh, fuck. I didn't go back far enough time for you, Linda. I'm not gonna say I'm sorry. I'm just gonna gay. I'm just gonna say, uh, suck it up. <laughs> suck it up. <laughs> That's so cool. Down. Oh, I can't get Jaime killed here. Okay, okay, it's okay. You're gonna be okay. Come on. Camera. Can you walk? Yeah. Let's go. I mean, it's a lead to rescue. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I don't think I have a failure state here. Pretty sure I just run and I have to save Jaime. Run. Run. And I can't kill everyone in this timeline. So for me, the, the Ruthless Fairy Run isn't necessarily incomplete if someone here doesn't die. Because you can't kill them all. Now, if you can't kill them all, then that would be different. So if I can't kill them all, I want to try to see some diversion if I can. And part of that diversion is have Jaime survive here. And then see if we can can get someone else killed later on, like Linda. Yeah, like Linda, because we haven't seen her die. Thankfully, that wasn't a stop the meter thing. Because if I can get Linda dead, and Jaime survives at the end, that's not... I, I wouldn't think that's a bad thing. In the House of Madness, chapter 10. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of failures here. Funny how she says Bonnie. I don't think I ever realized this, before because she's Bonnie's daughter, what right? Is this? It's okay. It's okay. You're not Bonnie? No, I um. Bonnie was my mom. Did you know her? Yeah, I don't think I made that like comparison before. Y yeah, I, I mean, she's my boyfriend's sister. Boyfriend? Jaime. What? We, we were just getting a shot, and he was... We were... Oh, fuck, Jaime! How could he do that? He just left me! <laughs> you don't mean my uncle, Jaime. Okay, so she knows an uncle, Jaime. Uncle. So that means Jaime's alive. So that means her 1980 is not from... The 60s. Everybody! Oh my god, th there's this thing. It's, it's, it's trying to kill me! What the hell is going on here? And he also says that thing's trying to kill him, she? but Frank Stone wasn't After resurrected, so who's you, trying I, to I kill Stan? She was just here. How'd you get here? I, I don't know. I, I think I was brought here. Yeah, who was trying to I kill Stan? Know. Stan! You don't want to be here. Trust me. 
Oh. Came here in this? Oh. I, I think so. Do you think it can also take you back? Uh, I gotta try. If there's any chance that's true, I, I gotta try. My friends are in terrible danger. I, I gotta get back to them, wherever they are. I'll help you. Why don't you climb back into the uh, chamber, whatever it is? I'll see if I can figure out these controls. I'll keep an eye out for any uh, interruptions. <laughs> Okay, uh, is there a switch on that thing? Yeah, I see it. Okay, you should flip it. Ah, uh, 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 cripes! Uh, try using that pole thing. I was always just like, I, I don't want any part of this. <laughs> oh wait, do we fail this? Ooh, 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 do we fail this? If I succeed in this, I probably don't get the pole. If I don't get the pole, I can't go back. I think I succeed in this. Because I'm theorizing if I don't get the pole, she's probably gonna say, okay, I guess I can't go back. Now, if I'm wrong, we can always rewind it. It's not too far to rewind. Oh. Okay. We should have failed it. Yep, we should have failed it. Okay, let, let me rewind and let's uh let's let's uh fail the pole grabbing. All right, we're back. Now. I don't, I don't know what happened. I just, I, I, uh, <laughs> editor, can we just delete this out of the video? Wait, I am the editor. No, ah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be back again. Uh. All right, uh, take three. This is actually take three. Don't worry. There wasn't a bunch of other takes that I decided to. Not show you. Um, yeah, take three. So you succeed anyway? What do I do now? I think you should get in. Wait, you succeed anyway? Wait, something's different. Help! Help me! Help! What are you doing, Stan? Oh, you're gonna die. See you next fall. I like how Maddie's just standing there doing nothing. What do we do? Uh, help Stan. I could always rewind this too. But I want to purposely fail this one. Okay, I guess I can't purposely fail that one. You try to go back, but you missed your chance. All right, so what you need to do is you need to fail that, help fail Stan, and then you need to run without helping Stan. Got it. I was thinking about running, but I thought that helping him would cause a delay, and because it caused a delay, oh, bad no. things would happen.
I just wanted to see that hit our cutting room floor. So I'm waiting for a transition point. All right, I'm gonna go back and we're gonna we're gonna redo that scene a fourth time. Four, four, four times a charm, right? Okay, we are back here, and we are failing, pulling up Stan. Whatever's happening, I don't think it's gonna last much longer. I think you're gonna miss your chance. You can't leave me like this, please. And we're gone. So long, and thanks for the fish. <laughs> he made it up okay. Thought he was gonna die there. Oh no, 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 no. This does not look right. Whoa. I tried to help you go back, but something went wrong? Uh... Chris? Did you hear that, uh... So what happened to Chris? Did I do that all right? I mean, that definitely sounded different. Chapter 11, all paths must cross. Oh my god! What the? What the? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What the heck happened to her? What the heck happened to her? Back to the past. It's backwards. Look at the eyes coming out of the brain. Oh my god, what the heck happened? That's some messed up stuff right there. There's a first aid kit in Robert's bag. That's gruesome. Okay, that should help a little. Thanks, Doc. As good as new. That's so gruesome. Poor Chris, what should you deserve that? We need a way out of here. Yeah. So, uh... How? There's the storm drain. We could get us out. If we're lucky... We might be able to find a way in from this chamber. <sighs> it's coming. Closing the news. Man, that is some messed up stuff. What is it? What do you see? I don't see anything. That doesn't mean it's not there. Just when I thought I had a handle on this place, getting lost in here is like putting your brain through an egg slicer. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ah, uh, nothing. I, I was just thinking that if someone asked me to explain what happened back there, I... I wouldn't even know where to start. <laughs> this true. night just keeps going and going. Yeah. But you know something? You were here for 
hours and everything was totally normal. Well. You know what I mean. Things only started going off the rails when Sheriff Shithead showed up. You don't know that he's got anything to do with it. You don't know that he doesn't. Well, what do we do now? Kind of only got one option, you know? Which is? Get the fuck out of here as soon as humanly possible. What about Linda? Powder! <sighs> Hopefully we'll just run into her along the way. Do you want to tell me what was going on with that kid? Kid? Girl in the sarcophagus. I don't know much more than you do. She said she knew my mom, but it didn't make any sense. Not much around here does lately. I wish I had more time to talk to her. I just hope she got back to wherever she was trying to go. It didn't sound like it. Where are you going here? Are these two gonna find the book? That bed looks pretty tempting right now. Not gonna lie. Looks boring. Still, can't judge a book by its cover. So I think last time was just here with Chris, right? Hello. Now that's not boring. I wonder if there's more ways to diverge here. Looks like the kind of bed they'd use to sacrifice virgins in some old horror movie. <laughs> you think Augustine lured us in here on purpose? So she could sacrifice one of us? Well, there is one way we could ensure our safety. Gross, dude. <laughs> I remember that. There's like so many things in this game that change and you're just like, why did this change? Pretty slick. Hmm. Yeah, sure. A secret passage. Why not? How did Maddie die in our first run? I think you're just supposed to turn around. Yeah, it's supposed to go this way. Did she get sucked up by the monster in our first run? You need to understand. Why should I? I don't even know you. Linda! I'm so glad you're okay. You're not gonna believe what happened. I found this totally crazy room, and this girl just came out of hey, nowhere. glasses are fixing Maddie, him. listen. This is not the Sam Green I knew from Cedar Hills. He is an imposter. We cannot trust him. I will admit, time, distance, and a great deal more than you could know are between us. But whoever I am to you, you can trust me. You have to. Give me one good reason. You've seen Augustine's archive. She's not just collecting every piece of the film you made. She's collecting every piece of that film that could have ever potentially existed. What is that even supposed to mean? Resistant or supportive? Resistant. You can't prove any of this. You're just not giving us any sort of concrete evidence or answers. Just doubt. It's a complex situation. Augustine made it very simple. Give her the film. She helps us. And that doesn't make you suspicious? Yeah, it does. But I don't trust you, either. Oh, great. Out of the frying pan? I don't like any of what's going on anymore. I think we should just get the fuck out. Is this the movie you made? Yeah. It is. You got your piece of the film strip? 
Yeah. All right, let me see it. How can we be sure that he's not just trying to take them for himself? We can't, but I guess we have to take that chance. Take the chance a little faster, please. Maddie? I need to see the actual film. Okay, so Maddie was sacrificed. Where is it? In our first run. No, 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 no. It was right here. It, it was right in here. Do you still have yours? So, uh, show it to me. Show me what you took from my son. I can't do that. You can't do that? I kind of, sort of, might have already made a deal with Augustine. I, it was before anybody else got here. I, I just went ahead. Outraged. You fucking weasel, you were lying to us from the second we got here. Come on now, it wasn't personal. Uh, Un-fucking believable. I didn't even know you. Augustine just, you know, pay me a little extra to hang around, keep you company. It <laughs> sounded fun. <laughs> hey, you get what you wanted? You done with this fucking game? If she's had all the pieces of the film this whole time, why does she keep us here? Now, what do I want to do here? I think Murder Mill. I think I have to keep Sam alive. So we can see some sort of different result when I fail the camera. It's coming. When I fail the camera, uh, when we go back. Jaime! Oh, I forgot Jaime's alive. I kind of want to keep Jaime alive here. I want to see someone else die, okay? I mean, he's died enough. Literally, he's already died once this game because he was a baby, right? So someone other than Jaime can die. And it looks like Bonnie dies no matter what happens. She was just too late. She was just too late. My exit. No! We were in the old machine shop. That's where Chris and Jaime and I found a way into Frank's hideout and... That was from... 
I know. Stay right here until I come back. Do you understand? But, Dad... Okay, like I said, I think we actually have to survive here. To see if we can get Robert killed. Because I think that would be the more tragic thing to happen. Is if Sam watches his son die. I mean that's just messed up in so many ways. No. no Dad, Dad, it's me. It's me. Damn it. I, I told you to. What? What happened? Because I look back at my previous run. And I'm coming with you. Robert did help. follow us. And he was holding the cameras down. while Sam just, tended I to get hurt. I can't. But the it's others. my fault. I got them in here. I if you don't listen to me, I can't protect you. And I just can't trust that you're gonna listen to me. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. Now, the only problem with this is I have to successfully navigate through here. But I did it once on the hardest difficulties. Huh. Back here. A nightmare repeating itself. <clears throat> I gotta find them. I gotta find the camera. And I have to find the camera. You go... Can you go through here without the camera? No, you cannot. Okay. That would have been cool if you can go through here without Those the camera. Kids and, their damn movie. and they just, the thing just instantly kills you and you have no chance to do anything about it because you have no defense. Linda. Now the question is, how long is it going to take me Maybe to find the way? This isn't right. It feels like he's here. I had a voice this way. Get it together, Sam. Come on now, for them. There he is. One down. That means we are going the right way. Linda. There he is, number two. I think the trick is you just can't turn around. When you see your camera go green, you know you're going in the right direction. What the heck am I picking up? Oh, it's just a doll. These monstrosities are everywhere. No time to waste on this. Pretty sure I've seen that one. Problem with that doll though is now it just it got my directions off. Because now I'm not sure which direction I came from. Okay, this is definitely the right direction. Oh my god, he appeared like right on top of me. Uh, 
coming here. There we go. Hate navigating through this place. I get lost all the time. All the time. See anything? I can't see anything. Like I said, I hate navigating through here. It's just it's just a giant cluster. Like all the caves look the same. supposed to go the shimmy through here and there is nothing over here there is nothing over here Oh, there was a ladder here. Okay, this takes you up to the furnace. Okay, I see what this is. This is where you go at the beginning of the game uh, to get to where Fingstone is. We're not trying to get here, apparently. So where the heck am I trying to get to? I'm trying to get to that room. There's nothing back there we already looked. Here, maybe? There's another doll. Ugh. Spirit. Pretty sure we found that before. Help me! Okay, that's good. We heard a voice. <gasps> Hi, Miss Here. Oh, Sarah? Oh, thank God. Please help me. What happened to him? I'm sorry, son. This is gonna sting. How did that happen to Jaime? Man, keeping God people alive is worse than killing them. Wow, that guy is right on top of you. Tommy, I had no chance to do anything. Was I like supposed to back up when it happened? I mean, that was like instantaneous. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Okay, that death scene was worth it. I'll admit, that death scene was great. Jamie Charles removed from Frank Stone. My my mental Morty remember the death, right? Looks even more gruesome, like this. 
It's like his face isn't even completely rendered anymore. Yeah. So where the heck am I supposed to go to find the others? And why was Jaime so separated from everyone? I hate this place. I legit 100% just hate this place. Because all the caverns look exactly the same. Am I the only one who feels that way? Is there anyone else who like really hates running around down here trying to find the way to go? I might put a cut in here just because I feel like I'm completely lost and and nothing's gonna happen until I find where I'm supposed to go. So I'll be back. All right, I finally found it. You had to jump over a ledge to get here. Which is interesting because you could just ignore Jaime completely, right? I mean, you literally have to go out of your way to get to Jaime. You stand. Go, get up. I'll hold it off. So hold on. Do I want to succeed? I think I want to succeed here to get Robert in. I just watched my video for my first run. There are three different camera spots where you point the camera at Frank Stone. The question is, which one do you want to fail? I'm going to fail the third one. It's so fast all of a sudden. Like, so dang fast. Shoot! All right, well, I guess I'm failing that one. Yep, I guess I'm failing that one. But what if we fail Linda's? Looks like we can't fail Linda's. Just win here. Robert, stay back. We can't fail this. Linda's gonna watch herself die. Well, sort of herself. It's complicated. Time to whine me. Oh, it just snapped her neck. Not the most gruesome death we've seen, but still pretty brutal. And then, of course, we have to succeed. Because the storyline says that Frank Stone has to be defeated in 1980. For this film strip to exist. So my question is, is there a way to get Robert killed? Because I would love to see Robert get killed in front of his dad. I know that sounds horrible, and I'm I'm sorry, I'm a ruthless birdie. It's just the way things are. Can you stop it? Is it over? No. There's still one thing left we gotta do. I know this video is gonna be so long, but you know, I've had people tell me that the, the games like this 
the long videos are actually kind of good. The Massacre at Garrett Manor. So I have a plan for Linda. I don't know if I have a plan for Maddie. I, I do know that regardless of how many dies, if if uh, Sam sacrifices himself or her, it kills Sam and Maddie dies. I mean, Maddie can die differently. I just want to know what Linda's thinking. Oh, let's go for Stan. Why not? It's fun. Now you hold on a goddamn second. What the fuck? Get off me! Do you understand what you've done here? Do you have any idea? Who cares what she does with this shitty little B movie? Just let it go, old man. You're a joke! And here's the punchline. Absolutely. Ruthless. You broke my nose, you fucking senile piece of shit! It's the ruthless one, that's what we do. You, you lied to me. I did no such thing. Like hell you didn't. You promised me. It is no fault of mine if you misinterpreted what I promised you. My mom just died. You knew I was grieving and you took advantage of me. A traveler is only as strong as its vessel. You got a hell of a lot to answer for, and a lot of hell to pay! Help! Help me! Help! Help it's me Stan get is the one getting trapped this time. Okay, what do we do here? What do we do here? Um... What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Uh, if we succeed, well, we do have her arm. We may not be able to succeed. But if we fail, hold on, let me go watch uh, what happens if we fail this. Okay, so this may be a little bit weird of a time divergence because it's Dan, not Chris. But last time Chris got grabbed, we failed the QTE. And we, have a, we had a chance to sacrifice ourselves with Sam. I don't know if that's going to work the same, though, with... Stan being the one grabbed. Especially since we just punched him in the face. I'm sorry, buddy. We still have the chance. I think that's the only way we can get Sam killed. Eesh. So is Maddie and Linda going to go in the same direction? So I don't think we've seen... 
freaky. I don't think we've seen it when Maddie and Linda are going in the same direction. So that may change what happens. The stand just die here no matter what. Yep. Limited amount of deaths for Sin. I mean, he's not a controllable character, so. We haven't seen him get stuck, sucked up into the vortex yet, though. But well, we definitely need to kill. We definitely need to kill off uh, Sam. Where is it? Maybe it's knocked out from the power cut? Shit! That's how we got down here. To be another way out now unfortunately the way the thing I want to do doesn't matter anymore why did I think that would suddenly work I must be losing it please tell me you understand what 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 the fuck just happened back there yeah believe me I wish I knew like I said unfortunately what I want to do is a more complicated because Manny is with us. If it was just Linda, I could easily do it. But since it's Manny and Linda, I don't really know how this is gonna play out. This is why I still call them blind let's plays because the bottom line is with if all the diversion, you never working, know what you're gonna have. We could probably power the elevator. Let's try it. So last time I failed the generator and Frank still came in. This time I'm gonna fail the generator. But now there's two of us. So does Maddie get killed here if we fail? Try to speed it along there. <laughs> she not hide under the table. On the twist, too. So now I think what we have to do is we have to do the same things we did we we did with Linda. Now that we're Maddie, because it may all happen the same, just it's a different character. Lara just stands there and looks around like, run, jeez. What are you expecting? Okay, we had to succeed in this. Because we want to see a little bit more failure. And this death may happen exactly like Linda's death. Then we have a door. Oh, she opened the door automatically. Oh, oh, oh this is the door, right? Yeah, let's succeed this door. You escape Frank Stone in the manse. 
Wait, did I just succeed? I could have sworn there was something else after that. Maybe if we were Linda, not Madison. Because it was suggested to me that I skip with um, Linda through the door, but Madison was with us, so it kind of, like I said, threw me for a curveball there. Frank Stone is finally the man he was meant to be. My champion. A killer worthy of the entity. The bleed between worlds is open, split apart by sacrifice and violence. All will be swallowed by the entity's power. And what of me? The one who served up this world for it to devour. I'll oblige as its faithful servant, existing only to drink in its knowledge, share in its glory. I am Augustine Lieber, and I have brought the entity to your world. Lifetimes of toil and torment, all for this beautiful moment of sublime perfection. Almost unbearably so. I bear to you the offerings. I humbly await my reward for loyal service, unending. So it looks like we gotta play this final scene one more time. Because everyone needs to die. We have not succeeded in our Witless Failure run until everyone is dead. But I do want to see what happens here on the end. I will probably cut out this scene in um, when I do this again with uh, with everyone dying. So we're gonna we're gonna control Manny then. Walk into the campfire. Got any good advice for your old gal, Maddie Bear Mom? Sure could use a little help right now. Any help at all? Thanks. 
Registrations? No. Prescriptions. Okay, now this can't be real, right? Uh -huh. It's not really there. Are we uh. sure this is a good idea? This is the only way we know for certain. And we have to know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What the heck is going on here? Wait. Sam and Robert developed the film. What the heck is going on? It's there. Just like we thought. What do we do with it? We, uh... We separate it. We each take a piece. Then we take them as far away from each other as we possibly can. And we never, never... Let them come back together again. Sam saw Frank Stone trapped in the film. So this is very different if Sam or Frank dies, right? No, I mean Sam or Robbie, sorry. Option. I'm afraid it is. Can't we just like burn the film or something? If this film strip really is holding him somehow, destroying it completely might just set him free. That's a good point. I never thought about you that. You don't know that. I don't want to take that chance. Do you? Film strips never should have come back together. We just split the film. I wonder how different this is if Sam or Robert, um, Sam or Robert die. Who's taking a third piece? I'll find someone. It's best you don't know. What do we do now? How do we explain? You explain nothing. I'm gonna... Whatever happens next is my responsibility. Mine. You just need to go live your life. Never think about this again. Never tell anyone about what happened. You were never part of it. You don't know anything. You understand? Samurai would try to keep the film separate. I awake. Unsure where I am. His Augustine. Then memory floods back, and I know our world is gone, consumed by a living realm beyond space, beyond time. What's over here? Thanks to me. The heck? The heck is this? Buddy ring, Augustine's ring. How can it be here? Just a door in the middle of nowhere. Oh! The trickster. Little freak. The star whose desires no, knew no limit. Towards nothingness. Isn't this a part of her nightmare that she had? It was a door and he came out and there was a TV. The campfire is over here.
I discovered the campfire in the woods. Hey! Hey, I, I need your help! Hello? Why are you all just sitting there? What the hell's going on here? You know it would be really cool if one of the endings you had to actually play a Dead by Daylight game with like three AI and you're a survivor. Do we recognize any of these people? They don't what look familiar. Coming after us. Hey. Hey, we gotta get out of here. We can help each other get away. Come on. Please. Whether killing or surviving, the entity will play with our souls for all eternity. An endless hunt of fear and hope, pain and sacrifice, from which even death is no escape. And now, let the trial begin. All right, well, that was run number two and a half. <laughs> or 2.1, 2.2, whatever. I do think I'm going to stop here. We're going to go look at the cutting room floor, but I do think I'm going to stop here. Uh, the reason I want to stop here is because the video is already like an hour and a half long. And to redo things is going to take more time. So I think our next video is going to be trying to explore some of the... Some of the alternate pass like I don't think we could kill Robert let me know if we could kill Robert because I really want to kill Robert if we can't kill Robert then we're gonna kill Sam and and uh, possibly see how this plays differently if Linda survives but then I need to kill Maddie somehow what's the best way to kill Maddie Maybe that I have to go all the way back to um, get her killed by having her get disintegrated. And then after she gets disintegrated, uh, she's dead. Chris uh, can go back in time, potentially? Or Chris can get absorbed. But then Sam, future Sam, survives. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's wait for this to go by and then we'll talk in the cutting room floor. Credits are done. We'll see if this scene remains the same. I wonder if we can get a different epilogue. Like, it'd be funny if Chris just suddenly appeared. It's like, hi, Augustine! Ah! He just ran away. So Epilogue seems exactly the same. Even with the relic. The champion. Okay, so let us check first our relics. Uh, how do we do that? Watch. Alright, let's first check our relics because I think we found some new ones. Uh, the Wraith, 
Philip Ojomo was already a ghost, haunted by childhood war. Auto Haven Wreckers offered him a new beginning, but familiar pains followed like a shadow, ready to break his spirit. Now his banshee is suffering, he stalks the fog, striking without remorse. Fear this apparition of terror, fear greatly the wail of its bell, for it wails for thee. Uh, the nurse? I'm pretty sure we got the nurse. I know we got the twins. No, we got. I think we got the spirit. We didn't get the trickster. Few stars shone bright as G1 hawks, but even fewer could understand the insatiable appetite that perfection demands. Success, fame, and fortune all proved fleet. Man, I can't read this all of a sudden. Sorry about that. Proved fleeting for this K-pop idol, and it said G1 came to savor the truest sounds of suffering that only his deft hand could conjure. All right, let us look at the cutting room floor. Go back to chapter eight, where Maddie threw the switch. Uh, Linda took the letter from Sam's diary. Uh, Linda confronted Sam about Logan Chen. Linda read Sam's letter, which she took earlier. Okay, so it looks like this path here fulfilled that entire thing, except there's something down below, which I don't understand how we get to. Jaime was killed. Um, that was the last one. Chris met Maddie. Chris stayed. No. Chris chose to return. Chris left the present, and something went very wrong. Reunion? 3%. Wow. 3%. Chris died while returning to 1980. What is these other divergence here? Is that other divergence? Hmm. Maybe that's Chris coming back when Jaime tried to save her but didn't die? Is that a possibility? Uh, observation corridor... We missed the zero percent here in the corridor. No idea what that is. Uh, furnace. Uh, warded off stone. Looks like there can be a death here. But how is there a death here? Because everyone is alive and I never had it. There's two possibilities of a death here. So how do I get one of them killed? It probably is again. You have to change the past. Uh, Bonnie was hooked. Uh, Sam was confronted. Looks like there's another possibility down there as well. Uh, storm Drain, Sam died. Sam was killed by Frank Stone while searching the Storm Drain. Jaime was killed. Sam found Jaime impaled, but Frank Stone killed him before Sam could help. And we were on this path now. Sam knocked aside. Sam failed to weaken Frank Stone, and then Linda weakened Frank Stone. So there's no death there. There's a death there, but there's no death here. So it doesn't look like Robert can die. Uh, final stand. Uh, Linda failed to defeat Frank Stone with the 8mm camera. Linda was killed. Right, we saw Linda die here. Robert defeated Frank Stone. Seems like there's other paths where Robert doesn't defeat Frank Stone. Look at that. Maybe Sam defeats Frank Stone? Or Linda defeats Frank Stone? Hmm. There's another death there as well. Uh, Stan was punched. <laughs> and then we have the Chris con- No, we did Chris consume last time. Uh, this time we did Sam consumed. And then we were hunted. And Linda escaped Frank Stone. That was last time. This time, Linda killed and Maddie escaped. Uh, Maddie escaped Frank Stone in the atrium. Linda escaped Frank Stone in the atrium. Linda was killed during the final escape. But then it shoots us all the way over here. You see, we never had a chance to die with Manny again after this. So there there does look to be like there's more here with Linda if you escape with Linda. Uh, Sam did not use the machine. We went the other path here. Which is way up here. 
Okay, so there's a 6% there, which we didn't get to. Uh, there's another death possibility here, another death possibility here, another death possibility there, and one there. But we never saw any of this, because Maddie just escaped. Augustine's always going to be betrayed. And then we have the campfire where Maddie escapes um, and reach the woods. Like a bunch of stuff happening here. Look at all this diversion. So only Maddie escaped. Maddie reached the campfire alone. So all of these are probably different possibilities of how many people survive. That is insane. And then the figure emerges. All right, my friends. Well, my name is the Flight This Bird. This is your Sorbius Gaming Channel, and this is our continued blind let's play of the Cassia Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight. I, I would love to know what your recommendations are because we still need to do another ruthless run. And if we do a ruthless run, what is a good place to start at? What's a good place to explore? Uh, like I said, it it's always possible we could go back and get Sam killed earlier, uh, like way back here. So we could possibly get Sam killed. And if Sam, or we could save Jaime, which I don't know how you save Jaime. I mean, that almost happened instantaneously. But what if we save Jaime and then had, but how do we get Sam killed if we save Jaime? Ooh. Because if Sam dies, we can't save Jaime. If Jaime lives, we can't kill Sam. Yeah, I mean, I don't see any death opportunity here. There are some death opportunities here. These two, or this one. But I don't know if that's a Sam's death opportunity. So, again, where do we jump? Where, where do we go back to? What, what, is, what is the plan for a uh, third part of our Ruthless Failure Run? Let me know your comments. Uh, let me know your ideas in the comment section below. Or join us on Discord and talk to me on Discord. Our horror section is very lively with everyone talking about the Castle of Frankstone. So yeah, uh, go do that. Once again, thank you, Arthas, for suggesting our route for this one. Uh, if you have any other ideas, uh, I know S has played this game multiple times and has seen basically all the games. So what is your idea? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let, let, let's figure it out together, and then we'll do another run. Uh, but for now, I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic, be awesome day. And until next time, so long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter, and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.